good vlog, good morning. I don't know why I decided to start filming the intro right in the middle of my makeup, but today's video is going to be a New Year's reset. It's currently the first of the month, it's a Sunday, and I love that January 1st is a Sunday because it's kind of forcing us, instead of like working and doing meetings and everything on like a Monday or regular weekday, it's forcing us to actually like rest, reset, recover, get everything ready for the week. <laughs> hey guys. Oh my gosh, she just actually kissed me inside of my mouth. Ziggy's gotta give a kiss, you know how it goes. I did a vlog, I did a vlog. <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be fun to take you guys through a little reset vlog. Give me a little dash. Mm -mm. Pretty. <laughs> and hopefully share a little motivation to, you know, organize, set some goals, all that stuff for the new year right alongside of us. We're doing a Jordan giveaway on Kaizos, which if you don't know Kaizos, Kaizos is our hot cocoa, healthy hot cocoa brand. And we're doing a Jordan year giveaway because it's 2023, so we're gonna be giving away some Mocha Jordans. If you want to enter, I'll put the Instagram below. But yeah, we're gonna be shooting for that. We need to go get some plants for the house. I need to get a few things from Ulta. We need to tidy up. Gonna get a little like sauna recovery and a little workout in and make some healthy little recipes. So it's gonna be a fun one. I'm gonna keep getting ready and we'll get into the day. Okay, if you haven't seen Mocha Jordans, these are what they are. These are probably my favorite shoe I own. They're my babies, so we're gonna put these on with an outfit and we'll go shoot. It's my photographer. I put you to good. We're busting out the big camera today, baby. We're about business, right, Zig? We need to paint a picture. Maybe we could give away Ziggy. Would we want to give away you? He's a Kaiser star. You with a cup of Kaisos? That's a good gift. Hey. <laughs> hey. I got a package. This is from Story. I love Story's activewear. Cute. Cute. It's a little zip up. So comfy. A sports bra. Wow, this color is beautiful. And a pair of classic leggings. They have the pocket, which I love. New Pilates outfit. I'll probably wear this like tomorrow. Thank you, Story. Okay, that shoot was super quick. By the time you guys see this, the giveaway will be up. So make sure you go enter. That's gonna be so fun. But let's make some breakfast. I'm hungry. Okay, actually, Lucas wants to show you pictures first. Look at these bad boys. Can you see them? That's it. Just wanna show you. It feels so good. It's really bright, so I'm not even gonna try to open my eyes to the camera, but we are on this walk. We're walking Ziggy at first, and Lucas is with me, but we only walked for like 15 minutes and dropped him off, and now I'm just finishing up my walk by myself. I've been trying to walk like 10K steps a day, but I haven't really been the best. I usually get to like 7,500 steps, so this year, one of my resolutions is definitely to get that 10K every day. And if you watched the last vlog, you know in Florida, it was so cold during Christmas. It was seriously like our all-time low of lows, but it's hot. It's like sunny and 75. I'm so happy. Also, not sure if you noticed, but oh, my earlobe is like glowing. I took my makeup off. I literally just did a full face at the beginning of the video, and I have been trying to get better about doing my makeup because it's like a cool, fun thing on TikTok right now to be to do get ready with me's but I've never been good at makeup I've never really been a makeup girl but I've been trying to you know get into it a little bit and I just can't stand it I literally had it on for like an hour and a half and my face felt so icky and we just wiped her all off so I think the UV rays are a four right now and I'm literally just like staring at the sun while I walk to try to get a little bit of color I miss summer so much as much as I say no more traveling for a while I'm this close this close to booking a trip to somewhere where it's summer right now because I can't take it anymore seasonal depression is seriously a and I don't experience extremes of it, but I definitely experience a very minute, small version of it. And any version of any type of depression or anxiety is really tough. So if you're struggling with seasonal depression, I'm sorry, I feel you. I think a huge thing is like not being in the sunshine because especially when you're so used to being in the sunshine 24 seven, it's like that serotonin and your dopamine levels and all the chemicals in your brain that sunshine gives off to your body when it hits your skin and when it's in your eyes and stuff, those are actual chemical 
things that like drop in your brain. And yeah, on top of that, I mean, confidence for me, physical confidence as silly as it seems. And as much as I try not to worry so much about what I look like or like my physical appearance or confidence, of course we're humans. And that plays a big toll on me because I love being tan. I love being sun kissed and I'm just, I'm just not right now and I feel out of place. I think also it gets dark so early, like it gets dark at 4.45 here and darkness just brings my mood down. I love the days where I can be out in the sunshine until like 8 p.m. But now it gets dark at like 4.30 and I feel like as silly as this sounds, like kind of useless. I just sit inside at like freaking 5 p.m. and I'm like, well, I guess my day's over. And I say all this stuff kind of lighthearted right now, but I mean, some days are really tough in the winter for me. So if they are for you, no, you're not alone. No, you're gonna snap out of it. I used to get really, really down because I didn't understand it before. But now that I've actually done research on seasonal depression and like hormones and your endorphins and everything, I understand it more and I am ready for it and prepared for it. And I have like tools that help me get through it. So let me just name some of those. Um, staying busy. Basically, if you're not busy and just kind of sitting around and questioning everything and just chilling with no like sense of purpose it's very easy to fall into negative thought patterns and i don't know just blow things out of proportion and get stuck in your mindset but if you can find anything hobbies hanging out with friends house projects maybe starting a side hustle or even something as simple as like going and getting paints and like painting or drawing if you can find stuff to fill your time in your mind with healthy habits it helps a lot also another one like what i'm doing right now i know it's a lot harder for other people that don't live in florida but even in the winter, even if it's freezing cold and you have to wear a beanie and a big puffer jacket, try to still get outside and go in nature and at least just look at the sun, like get sunlight in your eyes and on your face and everything. And even though you're not like getting tan or any benefits like that, just being in the sunshine and being in nature helps with all of your hormones and your mood so much. Ooh, find like a healthy coping mechanism slash stress release because when you're stressed and your cortisol is like all the way up here it's easy to turn to things like alcohol or drugs or whatever that are unhealthy for you but if you can find something that brings your stress down helps you relax and regulates your mood and everything that's great for me it's baking new recipes or putting on a guided workout where someone else is telling me what to do and just mindlessly going through it okay i hope those help i'm gonna finish this walk i'm at 15 minutes of my own walk right now this is my garmin by the way i love it bye okay we're back from the walk don't get excited. We just went. I said the W word and he said, hmm? But anyways, we're back. It felt so good. I needed that, truly. But I just realized I had said I was gonna like do all these errands and get my nails done. And I just looked online and it's closed today. I completely forgot things are closed on New Year's Day. So I think I'll take this vlog into tomorrow to finish up some of those errands of the ones that are closed today. I'm gonna run half of my errands today and do the rest of them tomorrow. But right now I am editing the pictures from the giveaway shoot that we just did. And guys, that turned out so good. This is also a question I've seen a lot recently and I've answered it to like random DMs, but I've never answered it, I don't think on YouTube yet. Um, and this is how I edit my photos. I use Tezza. This app is the best. So I'm just working for a little bit. I'm gonna do that and then finish editing a video that I have to send in for a review for a brand. And then I don't have much more work today. It's been a pretty chill day with everything. So we're gonna pack it up and probably go grocery shop. Okay, I'm just making this little coffee in my to-go cup. Ooh because it's physically impossible for me to get in the car and run any errands without having a drink for some reason. Like, I don't know how to function if I don't bring a drink with me. I don't know what it is. I end up stopping at a gas station and getting a drink. So we're bringing this big coffee. And this one, I just did black coffee leftover from this morning with a little bit of almond milk. Got some raw wildflower honey and some prebiotic because I ran out of the just regular collagen. So that's that's what we're working with now. But we're going to put this away and we'll go run some errands. Luke is going to take you guys into the gym with him and he's doing his little workout slash recovery. So have fun watching that. All right, guys, I'm a little bit sweaty from the sauna. I decided to get a little sweat on before the workout, but today is January 1st. So I've committed to do 48 hour fast water only. And so my workouts are gonna look a little different today and tomorrow. Not as intense, not as difficult. So it's gonna be kind of a recovery, a little bit of a workout, just not as long. So I jumped in the sauna to get nice and warm before, and now I'm gonna go through a little stretch, also the workout, and then gonna do some sauna and ice bath afterwards. And a little update on the fasting. I'm like 
23 hours in, 22 hours in, and it's pretty tough to be honest with you. And it doesn't help when Brindley cooks the best meals and I can't have them and she is doing it all day today. I've been wanting to eat whatever she's cooking, but I can't. Try to get her to do it. She likes eating too much. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated with that, but we're about to get into it, so. shop it's just a few things that I know I needed the next couple days as you guys saw already Lucas is doing a fast so it's just me eating today and tomorrow um, so we're gonna wait and do a bigger grocery haul later but let's show you what we got pineapple that I already ate blueberries papaya I am really into yogurt bowls right now so I want to chop up some of this on my yogurt bowl vanilla ice cream this is a really good dairy food brand two massive zucchinis I think I'm gonna try to make like zucchini pizza boat thing out of these with this pasta sauce cucumber I love these liquid IV things so I just got two of the strawberry ones. My favorite crackers, if you know, you know. I talk about these all the time, and of course, they're already open. Pancake mix. I needed new almond butter, so not to be crazy, but a lot of almond butters have canola oil, palm oil, or random stuff added that is very unnecessary and can be super inflammatory to the body. So that's the one thing I always look for, is that the only ingredient should be almonds in there. There shouldn't be anything else added. It's very unnecessary. This brand from Whole Foods is really good at that. Big thing of liquid aminos. This is what we make stir fries with. Some ketchup. I'm a ketchup girl. I put ketchup on my chicken nuggets, my sweet potato fries. I put it on everything. And that's it from Whole Foods. So we're gonna put that away. I also went to Ulta and I did a TikTok video for that of like a little haul of what I did. So I'll put that on the screen now. I went into Ulta to get the bronzing drops from Drunk Elephant and of course they were sold out. But I ended up leaving with like seven things and I only went in for that one item. So that's great, but I thought I would show you guys so I at least feel a little bit better about my spontaneous and probably unnecessary purchases. So up, we've got the lip injection from Too Faced. This one's the extreme one. It says instantly sexy lips. So let me know if you want a before and after video of that one. Next, we've got the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. Let's see. Okay, maybe we'll see if I can show you the brush. Looks nice. I never see anyone talking about this, but Paul Mitchell is an incredible brand in my opinion. This stuff makes your hair so silky and smooth and it works kind of as like a conditioner. Um, I like putting a couple drops in after the shower, but I haven't done this since high school and I saw it and I was like, throwback, we gotta do that. I stand by Maybelline BB Cream. I've been using this stuff forever. It is if you're going for a more natural look, but you want like a little tint on your face and it's just moisturizing, it feels so good. So we picked up another one of those. Everyone's favorite, the Better Than Sex Mascara. I didn't want to fully commit, so I got the little tiny travel one, but we're going to see how I like it. I'm really picky with mascara, so who knows. And then lastly, I just got a beauty blender because I've been using my hands. All right, let's put this away and get to cooking dinner. That's not yours. I made dinner. We're going to put on a movie and just chill because Luke is really stressed out right now. He's finishing all taxes and he obviously is doing the fast and he needs to get his mind off of it, so we're gonna watch a movie. So we watched TV for a little bit, and then I got the random urge to deep clean. <laughs> you see, yawn. Good boy. Deep clean our closet. It's pretty cram-packed. We've got a lot going on, so I'm gonna try to declutter, and if there's anything that I haven't worn in the past, like, two, three months, we're getting rid of it. We're gonna donate. Let's clean the closet out. I'm going to, oh, Ziggy. Oh my gosh, he literally, oh my gosh. You won't leave me alone. I'm gonna put on this podcast and listen to that while I clean. I love you, but you're gonna have to let me clean for a second. I'm creating chaos. I'm like halfway done with the closet and then I came over here to get something and realized this was not organized. So we started organizing that and let's see, it's already 10 o'clock. I feel like I'm gonna be up till like 1 a.m. 
I also didn't even know I had this, but this is a brand I've been wanting to try and I realized I actually had it. So I put on a mask. So now we're going to organize this for a little bit. I started this drawer. So this is my makeup, which this looks pretty good. I organized it by like, this stuff is mascaras and eyebrow. And then we have like highlighter, concealer, and then we have like face makeup and then brushes. But we're gonna work on the other drawers now and get everything put away. I'm on a freaking mission right now. this morning because I didn't fall asleep until like 3 a.m. and woke up at like 7 ish so yay but anyways we just posted our giveaway it's live and yeah I told you guys all about it yesterday but we're really excited it's gonna be a really good one uh oh Peter's in here Peter's being loud so I can't talk get out of here get what despite the terrible night of sleep we're gonna get into the day and still make it count even if I take a little mini nap gonna be okay right now I'm drinking greens and I'm about to go make coffee I wrote out my to-do list oh, we got a lot on there so good, guys. Luke is deep into his fast he'll be able to eat dinner tonight so we're gonna make a big dinner for him we're gonna get plants we're gonna pick up a roller machine yes. I'm gonna do day one of my New Year's program I don't remember if I talked about this but I have a New Year's program on my app right now let me show you so I do talk about my app a lot because it's my work and I love it and I'm obsessed so you guys have probably seen this a lot but there's my app and right here we're on the New Year's one so you go down there's the intro the mindset healthy habits the recipes and then here is day one so you can see a lot of you girls have actually done it um, and that's awesome you guys beat me to it but yeah that's day one and then you have the rest of the days so we're gonna get into it today it's a Monday now so I wanted to start on Monday instead of Sunday let's get this morning started Guys, I cannot wait to have coffee. A fast really just uh, makes you appreciate food and eating and just the thought. And also it makes you realize like how we schedule our whole day around food. And it's really weird. Now that I don't have to eat or I can't eat. It, no, no, I think it's a lot of people. Like, what are we having for lunch? No, bro, that's just you, buddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I think it's everyone. It's like what are we having for lunch? Like are we going to dinner date or what are we doing for dinner? And then that'll dictate what we end up doing now, what time. It's really weird. Mm. It looks like a, it's November, Thanksgiving again. Give me a pumpkin spice. But I'm having water in my transparent labs cup. I put salt in it for the electrolytes and also put this brand called Water and Wellness. It's seawater electrolyte. Elec Electrolytes. It's supposed to be really good. There's isotonic and then hypertonic. One more day. I have uh, 10 hours. Where's your pillow? Where's your pillow? went outside and it's a little bit wet. <laughs> What's up? All right, we're going. <laughs> Peace. I'm trying something new. I got this rosemary mint scalp hair and strengthening oil. Supposedly it's just really good for your hair. I don't really have problems with my hair. I am really thankful that my mom <laughs> passed on good hair genetics. So I don't really need to like grow hair or anything like that and it grows pretty fast. But I do notice like kind of right there. I don't know, it's just very thin and like right there. So we just poured oil in it and we're slicking it back and making like a slick back pony look for the gym. Because I know I was gonna have to wash my hair today anyways, um, and I am gonna sauna, which I get really sweaty in the sauna, so I thought why not multitask, put a hair mask in, and uh, work out while it's in there, and then we can shower it out after. So I'm gonna go chug that pre-workout now, and we'll get into the gym. Hard at work. Hard at work. Look at this little lamp thing we got. It's a happy light, so if there's not a ton of sunshine coming in, it kind of simulates that. It said on the box that you're supposed to do it for a few hours a day or whatever, and if you started feeling jittery or like kind of high or too, um, I guess when you drink too much coffee, whatever that word is, to stop doing it and like reduce your amount of time, which yeah. is kind of crazy to me that that light will make me feel like high and jittery, so. So cool. I'll put their name on the screen because it was PR, I think, which is so kind. Um, okay, time to go work out. Oh, 
I'm shaking. I warmed up the sauna, so it should be at like 120 right now. Let's go sit in it. I'm only gonna sit in it for like 20 minutes because I'm starving, but maybe I'll sit in it more tonight. My goal is 45 minutes when I go in, but I just can't do that right now. I've got one papaya. Not gonna lie, it's a little bit mushy, but we'll see. She's good. So fun fact, when I lived in Thailand and Cambodia, I had like six parasites and this was my remedy for trying to get them out. You scoop out the seeds of a papaya and you chug like a tablespoon of them with water first thing in the morning. This is a tip that I was told by locals there. So don't quote me completely. I'm just doing what I learned. Now we're just gonna cut it into little cubes on the inside and a couple times down the middle. I told you guys I was on a yogurt kick lately. Okay, we're gonna eat this. I'll catch up with you later. We're back from our errands. We got a lot of groceries and plants and all the things. And I'm really excited now because this vlog is about to be Brinley's baking show. I'm going to make a really yummy dinner and I'm gonna make a really yummy dessert. So let's whip those up. The fridge looks so much better. They're stocked up. Don't think I'm extremely extra. I changed. And I put a little makeup on because I'm gonna use both of these recipes for a TikTok um, and just schedule out some of my content for the rest of the week. I love to knock it out like two or three videos in one night, especially if I'm making like a dinner and a dessert. So I did an outfit change for the first one and then I'm gonna throw on like a sweatshirt for the dessert to match the vibes of it and everything. I feel like every time I cook, I'm telling you guys I'm making a TikTok out of it and that's because I've been trying to get better with like recipes and stuff on there. But I'll set you guys up and you can watch the magic happen. Let's make this tomato soup. Look at the ingredients, it's so fresh. <laughs> current setup but the soup is done it came out more like vegetable-y than I was thinking so I think I'm gonna call it my like tomato vegetable soup but it is so good oh my gosh there's literally droplets on the screen of it so we're gonna take the last final shots of this and eat up Lucas totally forgot to show you his meal but it was a lot of beef a lot of rice and a lot of avocado and now Ziggy's getting his dinner so what does Ziggy get some beef and some kibble he gets some beef he gets some beef liver and he gets like this frozen kibble are you the most spoiled boy 
in the whole wide world because we love you. For dessert, we have these and I'm about to put them in. They are double chocolate chocolate chip cookies made with Kaizos, of course, and then we're gonna make them into an ice cream sandwich. So we're gonna put them in there and I'm so excited. I wish you guys could taste the batter. It's so good. So the cookie ice cream sandwiches turned out very good, but I might have cooked them a little bit too long so they were very crispy. I've just broken my cookie up and put it with ice cream and made like a little blizzard sundae. So we're gonna end the night here, but thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making this one, so let me know in the comments what you wanna see more of. I feel like I'm kind of running out of ideas because I just keep doing like day in the lives or week in the lives, but yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see. Until then, have an amazing week, and I'll see you next time.